Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. The S&P 500 was up 0.14% today. Uh, today is the day before the CPI report. Uh, last month, the day before the CPI report, we had a very similar scenario where the market ran up right at the end, uh, which is what happened today. Uh, people are positioning themselves with purchases, apparently, uh, right before the report comes out. Uh, of course, the last couple of months, the CPI report's been you know, a little higher than expected. Uh, it is expected this time to be lower, so we'll see what happens, uh, You know what kind of catalyst that gives. I really think, honestly, that the inflation issues, the uh, how many rate cuts are going to happen, uh, if you watch the market, it does respond to those, but it brushes them off pretty quickly. Uh, and I think because we have a strong economy, a lot of job growth, uh, you know, the things, the basics. So, so I, I think what we're heading into here in the earnings season is going to be more important uh, than even what happens with CPI, although there is a limit to that. So if CPI is really high, that would be very important. If CPI is very low, that would be very important also. But I think you know, kind of coming in close to expectations just keeps getting brushed off. Uh, the market is sitting around. You can tell there really hasn't been much emotion one way or another for the last couple of days waiting for this report to come up. But uh, I think altogether, you know, the market is you know, a little stretched out. Uh, the inflation has been a little sticky uh, and that's causing a higher bond yields and higher bond yields attract money away from the stock market. So, you know, there's some pieces here to show why the market's been going sideways for a few weeks. Uh, but again, I feel like this is pretty healthy. Uh, normal market, you'd probably see a pullback here uh, just because of these things that are happening. You know, 5%, 10% pullback. Uh, I think this market is so powerful, really, with all the excitement about it, artificial intelligence and all the pent-up demand that's coming through from, you know, uh, spending from the pandemic, et cetera, uh, is keeping it so that this is just a sideways market at the, mo at the moment. And we can still have that downturn, but what we're seeing so far is just, you know, every time it comes down a little, there's some, some buying that comes in and kind of gives it that support. So uh, that's probably not going to change anytime real soon. Uh, again, as long as there's still, you know, earnings uh, happening that are, you know, above expectation, which is what's been happening pretty consistently. Uh, you know, you're going to see a market do well here. Uh, so anyway, that's what's happening today. Look forward to talking to this about tomorrow. We're going to get the CPI report. I can give you a, an analysis of what I see, you know, inside that report. Uh, again, keeping in mind that this isn't the most important report to the Fed, but all of these data points will, will add up uh, to be something that's uh, worth uh, looking at. So anyway, look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thank you.